Giardi. I am 27 years old. I live in uh, Plainfield, Illinois, and I'm an American professional independent wrestler. I met my husband in high school. Uh, my folks moved in my sophomore year of high school to North Lake, so I began going to Leiden High School. I, was, I had a boyfriend who lived next door to me, Walter, and um, I had Frank and his brothers in the same class as me as seniors in history, and I didn't think too much of any of them. To six to succeed in having him feel this way about a shave and smiling from ear to ear makes me the happiest man in the whole wide world. To see a happy, happy person. And I make sure that he's as happy as any of the rest of them. I, I do the same, the shave the same way, the massage the same way, and I have trouble with a man getting him out of the chair in, in, in this respect. When, when he's lying down and I take the brakes off and I want to bring him up, he's not ready. He just wants to, he just wants me to keep on and on and on. <laughs> and, and when I get through with him, I says, what's your name, sir? Frank, Joe, Sack, Mac, Rack. Says that not anymore. It's Mr. Babyface, like the butt of a newborn baby. He he touches us. Wow! I hear that wow again. <laughs> that is worth to me. In other words, a rich man doesn't know what it is to be rich. Right here, I am by far the richest man in the world. When a man gets off my chair and he's smiling. He shakes me and he embraces me and his wife comes over and, uh, oh my God, she kisses him and you can't buy this anywhere, it's not for sale anywhere. A doctor cannot make, write a prescription, a pharmacist cannot fill it out for a person to be that happy and, and I'm just making him happy just by being me. You see folks just line up all along Route 66 and every hunk of junk from their basement they'll put out, their kids set up lemonade stands, people bring out these wonderful classic cars that they've spent many years restoring or a lot of time kissing butt to give somebody to give them, but uh, there's just a wonderful sense of community along this route and it's getting, I don't know, Jim and I were talking earlier, it's getting the creative juices flowing again. Like I said, I haven't been out in a long time and haven't given a crap about anything, but get out on a nice summer day on a road like this and all of a sudden I want to write again.